What's up YouTube, Andre here back with another video. Now today I'm going to share with you guys the way I like to customize my Android devices. I'm going to be using something called Nova Launcher, it's free to download from the Play Store and everything in today's video is going to be pretty much free from the Play Store so you guys can download and follow along. But essentially Nova Launcher just lets you customize the hell out of your Android device. I've used it in the past with phones like the XZ Premium with Sony S9 Pluses and it works really really well and it's just something that I like to do with pretty much all my Android devices. So let's get straight into this video guys. Okay guys, so check it out. This is my Sony XZ2, which I recently got. I'm super excited about this phone, but I just need to set up everything to the way I like it. So essentially I can start and make this my daily driver. Now, the first thing that I like to download on pretty much any Android device is something called Nova Launcher. Now I've already downloaded this, but you just need to download this guys because it's free to download from the Play Store. The next thing you wanna download is something called KWGT. And it's the first one, it's KWGT Custom Widget Maker. I'm gonna explain what we need these for later. Brilliant, so now that you have Nova Launcher downloaded and KWGT, we wanna go ahead and open up Nova Launcher first. So let's just search for it. Nova Launcher, there we are. So next on this. Now essentially, just go through this and pick whatever you like. Personally, I like the light theme. Uh, next on that. Now this is for the app drawer. You can choose the way you want to access them. Is it as a card or an immersive? I prefer immersive. Next on that. And I don't want the button. I want to just swipe up and just apply on that. And that should be it. So if we go back, nothing's really changed. What we want to do now is go into our settings and find apps and notification. Tap on advanced and default apps. Now for the home app, I want to tap on that and choose Nova Launcher. And this is going to change the whole launcher of the phone. So at this point, we just start customizing it guys. So what we want to do, something really cool with Nova Launcher is if you double tap the home button, it brings up the search bar so you can just search for any app. Uh, but essentially what you want to find is Nova settings. So I can just search for that, Nova settings. And I'm just going to put this on the home screen so it's easier for me to access. Just also going to get rid of this because I don't want it at all remove that and also before I get into the novel settings the screen is quite big quite chunky I want that as small as possible now this is just a personal preference guys you can have it to however way you want but you go into your settings uh, display and with the XZ2 you want to go to display size and I'm just gonna select the smallest available um, the text size is the same, so I haven't changed anything with the font, it's just the display size that I've changed. So now when I go back, everything just seems a little bit smaller. Brilliant, so let's get down to changing everything with the home screen. So tap on Nova settings, and we're going to start off with desktop. So tap on desktop there guys. Now the desktop grid is how many apps you have and how many rows you have, so vertically and horizontal. Um, personally, I like to go with around 7. Um, by five so tap down on that go back to the home screen as you can see I have five apps at the bottom here and I should be able to fit much more on the screen itself now something else I want to change is if you go back into the Nova settings and back on desktop scroll down until you find page indicator and change it to one of these three dots so essentially when you're moving between um, pages you have the three little dots at the bottom which is pretty cool. Now also on the desktop is automatically add icon to home screen. So when you download new apps, it just goes straight into the home screen. You don't have to find it to add it onto your home screen. If you like that kind of thing, I like to turn that on. Now moving on to app and widget drawers, just tap on that. Um, personally, I like to have frequently used apps off and also swipe to op open that on. Swipe indicator, yes. Uh, background, um, that's fine. Personally, I like to add a little bit of transparency. Now, this is the little drawer that opens up to show all your apps. So if I put 5% transparency, now if I slide to open, this should have a very, very faint transparent background to it. And also under app and widget drawers, you can actually change the accent color. So the scroll accent color, uh, let's go for something like um, blue, this kind of blue. 
and just show you that guys so if i open up the app drawer you can see that everything's gone blue you have the text and the search bar at the, at the top which is blue and then the little slider on the right hand side here also blue and this just gives your phone a little bit of a theme to it and i like to have mine blue moving on to dock dock's a really really cool one i just like to have mine turned off completely so essentially what that means is that there is no dock at the bottom at all it just allows me to have a much cleaner look and um, i don't really need that separation on my home screen but again that's a personal preference you guys can play around with this and change it to however way you want the look and feel is something that i like to experiment with a lot so for instance something that's really cool is you can actually hide the notification bar so when you're on the home screen the notification just goes away if you want to bring it back you just slide from the top and then you can slide again to bring up your whole um, control panel but that just gives it a much cleaner look everything's just missing and it's just much much simpler it looks really cool personally i like to have it on it doesn't really bother me having it on there night mode is also something very cool that you guys can experiment with personally i like to have mine on custom um starting at let's say 12 12 o'clock dead on and finishing around 6 a.m in the morning and let's just choose what we want to go dark so the search bar the actual drawer itself and that and also the folders so essentially guys this just turns everything dark now let me just actually turn night mode on for you guys so always and go back and now when i access a folder it's all black if i want to access the app drawer everything has a dark theme to it that's pretty much all the settings that i like to have on my phone with nova launcher all right so now i just want to add a few apps to my home screen and make it a little bit more exciting because now it's just a big blank page um, a couple of the apps that I want to have at the bottom is obviously phone, um, messages, I love having this on the home screen. I also want to add the uh, Chrome because I use Chrome as my web browser, add that on here as well. Um, maybe the Play Store, just add that in the middle there and also last but not least is I use quite a lot Spotify. But I haven't got that downloaded yet, so that's fine. I'm just going to add the camera icon. There we are. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy with those icons. Now, this is where we get onto the other thing that we downloaded, KWGT Widget Maker. Essentially, that just allows you to customize your widget and things like that on the home screen. So what I want to do is um, I want to add a widget to the home screen. So widgets. And what you want to find is KWGT it doesn't really matter which size you select let's just go with a 4x2 because you can pretty much um, just allow on that you can pretty much resize that so to set this up you just tap on the the actual widget and this is going to take you to kwgt there are a lot of widgets but if you manage to not find anything that you don't like you can also add some more so if you go into the play store and just search for kwgt and all these things that come up with so pixie trident these are all sort of add-ons onto the actual widget um, something that i like to use as well is called osha for kwgt again it's free to download from the play store and it just provides really cool widgets so once you have osha for kwgt downloaded guys just tap on your widget and this unlocks even more widgets that you guys can choose from um let me just find something that i like so for example guys i want to choose this this is um clock basic and next 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 and just allow this is essentially the first time setup of kwgt just let it load up let it do its thing slide to the right until you get to layer and if you tap the plus this will actually make your widget much bigger if you tap on this it increases it in size by a larger amount so you can make it much bigger pretty cool happy with that let's just save that go back into the home screen so now that's changed um, that should show you your time and just remove that put this here but there you are guys there you have it this is the way the, the sort of look that I would go for the customizations that I would make amazing guys so there you have it that was sort of a step-by-step -step guide of how to install nova launcher and kwgt 
and how to apply them. They offer a ton of possibilities. I would love to see what you guys come up with. I've been using the XZ2 for a couple of days now. I absolutely love the phone and the design. There were a ton of features that I found out from using the phone that I'm gonna share with you guys in the next couple of videos. So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you really, really like this video, smash that subscribe button, guys. I appreciate all your support. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Thank you.